Hi, I'm Dan Limmer, Chief Pathologist at Limmer Creative. Day two, National Association of EMS Educators Conference Exhibit Hall. This was the question we posted today. I'd like to read it to you. A 68-year-old man with a history of chronic bronchitis calls because he's short of breath. You find him cyanotic, leaning forward, and coughing frequently. He says this coughing is much worse today. You should respond by asking him. All right? This is a great question because you wouldn't think of writing this question for your exams. It really looks for a judgment and it's based on the history. So I mean, I like the question just because of that. So would you say, do you have a fever? Can you describe the color of your sputum? How many times have you used your inhaler today? And how many months have you been diagnosed with bronchitis? So in registry style, they all have a certain amount of plausibility. But let's go back to the stem and pick out things that I think are important as far as this goes. The first is that the history of chronic bronchitis, shortness of breath, gives us the basis for the complaint. Then we have cyanosis. That gives us a, an air of criticality to this. Now, he might be a little uh, cyanotic normally, but seeing it in the question I think is worth a little bit of, of note. Leaning forward. Now, if Bill Brown, when he wrote this question, put in tripod position, it would have been much easier because all the students would have said, oh, tripod position, that's respiratory distress. They now have to say leaning forward and picture what that means and what that patient position would look like and coughing frequently. So the coughing is much worse today. So when you say, what should you ask him? It means what should you really ask him first? And with that, you say, what would give you the most information? What would give you the most information to be able to act or to put this into context? Now, all of these questions are, are relevant for the exacerbations of a, of a condition, uh, finding out about the infection and doing those things. This one, I think, is the outlier. And you'll see each one of these dots represents what an educator at the National Association of EMS Educators Conference picked. So you'll see we have a concentration here and we have it here. Educators, I mean, really experienced educators discuss this question. And I think it's really important while you're looking at this as an educator saying, how would I have answered this and how can I teach my students? But the winner here is correct. The majority of educators were correct. How many times have you used your inhaler today? Not only talks about the condition itself, but it gives a little bit of barometer about improvement and exactly how bad this is. These other questions are very valid, but using your inhaler gives a barometer uh, of prognosis and gives you an idea of where you are. And it probably is the most relevant and action oriented a choice uh, of the four that are given. Now, many times people say, I don't like any of the choices, and many times that happens. I think this is a great question. We had some great interaction at the booth. If you're watching this and you were at the booth doing this with us, we thank you. Uh, and please uh, share this with other educators that you know. Again, I'm Dan Limmer from Limmer Creative. Thank you.